Welcome to Holistic Wellness 24-7. In today's video, we will explore how to nurture the soul for greater spirituality from the lens of the writings of Carl Jung. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear roadmap to improve your well-being. So let's get started on your journey to better health. We live in a world saturated with images of success and happiness. Social media feeds overflow with curated lives. Yet beneath the veneer, Many feel a pervasive emptiness. We chase validation, accumulating possessions and accolades, only to yearn for more. This longing is the soul's cry for authenticity. The human spirit craves genuineness and connection. We are hardwired for connection, both with ourselves and something larger. Carl Jung recognized this desire for authenticity as a driving force. True spirituality is found through a profound inward journey. This journey leads us to the core of our being. Jung's insights offer a roadmap for navigating our inner world. By embracing his concepts, we embark on a transformative journey. This journey demands courage, honesty, and confronting our shadows. The rewards promise a life of greater meaning and spiritual fulfillment. Despite living in an age of unprecedented material abundance, many experience a profound sense of spiritual disconnection. We have access to information, entertainment, and conveniences that previous generations could only dream of, yet rates of anxiety, depression, and addiction continue to rise. We seem to have lost sight of something essential, something that transcends the material world. Jung recognized this spiritual deficit in modern society. He argued that our relentless pursuit of external achievement has come at the expense of our inner lives. We have become disconnected from our souls, those deep wells of wisdom and intuition that reside within. This disconnection manifests in feelings of emptiness, meaninglessness, and a lack of purpose. Jung believed that true wholeness comes not from external validation, but from integrating the disparate parts of ourselves. He viewed the psyche as a complex ecosystem, composed of conscious and unconscious elements, each vying for expression. Our ego, the conscious part of ourselves, often tries to maintain control, suppressing aspects of ourselves that it deems unacceptable or undesirable. This, Jung argued, is the root of our spiritual malaise. To heal this disconnection, Jung proposed a radical idea. We must turn inward. We must confront the shadows within and those aspects of ourselves that we would rather keep hidden. This inward journey, he believed, is the path to wholeness and spiritual fulfillment. It is a journey of confronting our fears, embracing our imperfections and integrating the parts of ourselves that we have tried to deny. One of Jung's most groundbreaking contributions to psychology is the concept of the collective unconscious. This, he argued, is a universal reservoir of shared experiences, images and archetypes that transcends time and culture. It is the inherited wisdom of humanity passed down through generations and imprinted on our psyches. The collective unconscious is not directly accessible to our conscious minds. However, it reveals itself through dreams, myths, symbols and archetypes. These are the language of the unconscious, offering glimpses into the deeper workings of our minds. Jung believed that by understanding the language of the collective unconscious, we can gain profound insights into ourselves and the human condition. Imagine the collective unconscious as a vast ocean. Our individual consciousnesses are like islands dotting the surface, seemingly separate and distinct, yet beneath the surface we are all connected by the same vast body of water. The collective unconscious is this shared ocean containing the accumulated wisdom, experiences and archetypes of all humanity. Jung believed that the collective unconscious is populated by archetypes, universal, primordial patterns of behavior and imagery that are found in myths, religions, and stories across cultures. These archetypes, such as the hero, the sage, the mother, and the shadow, represent fundamental human experiences and motivations. They are the building blocks of our psyches, influencing our perceptions, relationships, and life paths. Jung identified numerous archetypes that shape our personalities and influence our behaviors. Among the most significant are the persona, the shadow, and the self. The persona is the mask we wear, shaped by societal expectations. It helps us navigate social situations, but can become problematic if we overly identify with it. The shadow represents the hidden, repressed aspects of our personalities. Finally, the self is the archetype of wholeness and integration, guiding us towards growth and purpose. Section 5. Individuation. A journey of self-discovery and wholeness. 
Individuation, according to Jung, is the ultimate goal of human development. It is the process of becoming a unique, indivisible whole, integrating our conscious and unconscious aspects into a cohesive sense of self. This is not a linear journey with a defined end point, but rather a lifelong process of growth, exploration and self-discovery. Imagine a seed planted in the ground. It contains within it the potential for a magnificent tree, but it requires nourishment, sunlight and time to reach its full potential. Similarly, our psyches contain the blueprint for wholeness, but we must actively engage in the process of individuation to manifest this potential. This involves confronting our shadows, integrating our archetypes and connecting with our true selves. The journey of individuation is not without its challenges. It requires courage to face our shadows, to acknowledge the parts of ourselves that we would rather keep hidden. It demands honesty to confront our limitations and embrace our imperfections. And it necessitates a willingness to surrender to the unknown, to trust that the path, though uncertain at times, will lead us towards wholeness. The rewards of individuation, however, are immeasurable. As we integrate the disparate parts of ourselves, we experience greater psychological freedom, a deeper sense of meaning and purpose, and a profound connection to ourselves, others, and the world around us. Individuation is not about achieving perfection, but about embracing the fullness of who we are, shadows and all. Section 6. Embracing the Shadow, a Path to Integration and Growth. The shadow, often perceived as a negative or destructive force, is in actuality an essential aspect of our wholeness. It contains the repressed, denied parts of ourselves, those aspects that we deem unacceptable or undesirable. While it is tempting to deny or project our shadows onto others, Jung believed that true integration and spiritual growth require us to confront and embrace these hidden aspects of ourselves. Imagine the shadow as a wild animal locked away in a cage. The longer it remains imprisoned, the more ferocious and untamed it becomes. However, if we can approach it with compassion and understanding, if we can create a safe space for it to be seen and heard, it can be integrated into our conscious personalities, becoming a source of strength and wisdom. Shadow work is not about condoning negative behaviors or excusing harmful actions. It is about understanding the root of these behaviors and finding healthier ways to express the needs and desires that lie beneath the surface. By integrating our shadows, we reclaim the energy that we have been expending on repression and denial, freeing ourselves to live more authentically and wholeheartedly. Section 7. Balancing the Opposites. Finding Harmony Within. Jung believed that the psyche strives for balance, seeking to reconcile opposing forces within us. He observed that our personalities are composed of polarities, introversion and extroversion, thinking and feeling, intuition and sensation. These opposing forces, while seemingly contradictory, are essential for our psychological health and well-being. Imagine a tightrope walker gracefully navigating a high wire. To maintain balance, they must constantly adjust their weight, shifting from one foot to the other. Similarly, psychological health requires us to find a dynamic equilibrium between the opposing forces within us. When one side of the polarity dominates, we experience imbalance. For example, an individual who over-identifies with their thinking function may struggle to connect with their emotions, leading to emotional detachment and difficulty forming meaningful relationships. Conversely, someone who is overly reliant on their feeling function may struggle to make rational decisions, often feeling overwhelmed by their emotions. The path to wholeness, according to Jung, lies in finding a harmonious balance between these opposing forces, this doesn't mean striving for a bland neutrality, but rather cultivating the ability to access and integrate all aspects of ourselves, allowing each function to express itself appropriately in different situations. Section 8. Authenticity, the courage to be your true self. At the heart of Jungian psychology lies a profound respect for the uniqueness of each individual. Jung believed that our true selves are not something we create, but rather something we discover through a process of inner exploration and integration. Authenticity, in this sense, is not about conforming to external expectations, but about aligning our lives with our deepest values and aspirations. Imagine a world where everyone feels empowered to embrace their true selves, where differences are celebrated rather than feared. This, Jung believed, 
is the potential that lies within each of us, the possibility of living authentically and contributing our unique gifts to the world. Living authentically requires courage. It means defying the pressure to conform, to fit in, to be what others expect us to be. It demands that we listen to the whispers of our souls, even when they contradict the dictates of society or the expectations of those around us. The path to authenticity is not always easy. It may require us to make difficult choices, to set boundaries, to walk away from relationships or situations that no longer serve our highest good. However, the rewards of living in alignment with our true selves are immeasurable. Section 9. The Transformative Power of the Inward Journey The inward journey, while often challenging and at times unsettling, is ultimately a transformative experience. It is a journey of self-discovery, of confronting our shadows, integrating our archetypes and connecting with the deepest parts of ourselves. It is a journey that leads us to a greater understanding of who we are, why we are here, and what we are meant to do with our lives. Imagine a caterpillar undergoing metamorphosis within the confines of its cocoon. What appears to be a period of darkness and confinement is actually a time of profound transformation. Similarly, our inward journeys, while often requiring us to confront difficult emotions and uncomfortable truths, ultimately lead us to a more beautiful and authentic version of ourselves. The transformative power of the inward journey lies in its ability to connect us with something larger than ourselves. Whether we call it the self, the soul or the divine, this connection to a transcendent reality provides us with a sense of meaning, purpose and belonging that transcends the material world. Section 10. Begin your journey, a call to explore and connect. The journey of individuation is not a solitary pursuit. While it requires us to delve into the depths of our own beings, it also invites us to connect with others who are on a similar path. Sharing our experiences, insights and challenges with like-minded individuals can provide support, encouragement and a sense of shared humanity. Consider joining a book club, attending a workshop or seeking out a therapist or counsellor who specialises in Jungian psychology. Engage in meaningful conversations with friends, family members or colleagues who are also interested in exploring the depths of human experience. The world needs individuals who are willing to embark on the inward journey to confront their shadows, integrate their archetypes and live authentically. By doing so, we not only heal ourselves, but also contribute to the healing of the world around us. As Carl Jung himself said, the privilege of a lifetime is being who you are. Embrace your journey, connect with others, and let your light shine brightly. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe for more content.